what would you do in each of the following situations? Number one, in the hospital elevator, you overhear two physicians talking about a patient's medical condition. They mention the patient by name. Has this ever happened? Maybe not so hypothetical. Would you A, ignore the situation? B, mention your concerns about patient confidentiality to the physicians and leave it at that. C, report the incident. Or D, secretly record the conversation on your cell phone and send a CD of the recording anonymously to the hospital administrator. All right. Raise those hands up high if you would ignore it. Let's see, who would ignore it? Yes, right over here. Why would you ignore it? Because I don't want to get into trouble. Fair enough. Who would talk with the people and leave it at that? Talk with the people and leave it at that. Yes, ma'am, right over here. I would because it's honest and you should um, point it out to them right away. So it's honest to talk with them about it. I propose that yes, in every one of these situations, there's either one right answer or one response that's much better than the others. And the way that we find out what that is, is through what I call the life principles. You know these as principles of ethics. And you know what? Here's the good news. You know these principles already. You learned them as a child from your parents, uh, from teachers, from mentors you may have had uh, in your house of worship. But in the course of becoming a successful, busy professional, sometimes we put these principles aside, don't we? So what I'd like to do now is review these principles, say a little bit about where they come from, and then revisit the quiz and see if these life principles can point us in the right direction. The first and foremost, most fundamental ethical principle of them all is do no harm. Life principle number two, make things better. Life principle number three, respect others. Life principle number four tells us to be fair, to be just in our dealings with folks. Principle number five calls upon us to treat people with loving kindness, to be compassionate, to be caring. It takes very little effort to let people know uh, that you appreciate them, and they're unappreciated people all over. I'll bet, in fact, in this room there's some unappreciated people feeling a little unappreciated. Could you raise your hand if you feel a little unappreciated at the moment? Ma'am, could you come up here? I don't want to force you, but I guarantee you're going to like this. Come on up here. Thank you. you know, right, right over here. Because my friends, and I'll bet you've noticed this too, when someone says they're feeling unappreciated, they probably are telling the truth. So, what is your name? Marilyn? Okay, could you come up here? Now, this is Marilyn. Where are you from? Miami. Miami? Marilyn's not feeling so appreciated today. For the next 30 seconds, my friends, I want you to give Marilyn the loudest standing ovation you have given anyone in your life. Get up and let her know. Come on. Up, up, up. Everybody. Up, up. Come on. Come on. Up, up, up. Everybody. Up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Marilyn, 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 Marilyn. You've made this woman's day. For years, she's going to be talking about the standing ovation she got in Fort Lauderdale. And how much effort did that take out of you? How much did it cost? And you know what? Here's something else that's pretty cool. Check in with yourself. I'll bet right now you feel better than you did a minute ago. And it's not just because you stood up and flapped your arms. Right? It's not just because you gave her applause. It's because for 30 seconds you were devoting all of your energy, all of your thoughts to this person to making a difference in her life. And it made you feel better. Now if there's one take-home message in today's talk, it's this. The reason to do the right thing is simply because it's the right thing to do. It just so happens that there are all these wonderful professional and benefits to us when we take that high road, when we do the right thing, when we show people the right thing. I like the interaction, I liked his message, and no, it was just a wonderful presentation. It was excellent. I think he's great. Uh, the response of the crowd was tremendous and you could just feel it. I think he's very, very refreshing and humorous and engaging and I think everybody really enjoyed it. Excellent speaker. I thought it was spectacular, very impressive, especially in the time we live in. I do team building in my organization and I also teach a class on communication and it, it, it'll be perfect for me, all of the things he talked about. Uh, yeah.